It's dinner time. All right, here we are at Lucy Cooper's. The food here looks amazing. I'm hungry. We're hungry. The food here looked like it was pretty big portions too. All right, guys, before we dive into the food, I just wanted to show you guys the vibe of the place. They have live music. Uh, we went on a Friday night. And here's the menu. They have your chicken side, pizza, your burger side. Feel free to pause whenever you like so you can check out what they have to offer. And here's the other side with the appetizers and some of their seafood. So we got the clothesline bacon, which looks phenomenal. Just look at it. We also got the chicken fried deviled eggs, uh, which I'm not too into deviled eggs, but, but this one actually wasn't half bad. Get into a bit later. Look at this bacon. They're glistening, they're thick, they're dripping in grease. Here I got the donut brunch burger. It has two donuts for the buns, a fried egg, your bacon, hash browns, two four ounce patties. And moving on, we have the pimento mac and cheese, which looks good. I'll give it that. More about it later. Here are the Dr. Pepper barbecue hot wings. And we have their seasoned fries, which tasted great. They're basically wing stop fries, just thin. Here Jack got the disco club, which was huge by the way. And not only that, it looked pretty fresh. Here we got a side of onion rings and they were crispy as heck. Trevor got the blackened chicken sandwich, which doesn't have too much flair to it, but overall, Trevor thought it tasted fine. Obviously nothing special, but at least he wasn't disappointed with what he got. All right, here Jack is diving right into his disco club. These were thick boys. You definitely get your value in terms of the portions you get with your food. But yeah, nice fresh bite. He enjoyed it and that's all that matters. So for me, I started with the seasoned fries and my gosh, they were crispy and sugary. Um, like I said, if you had Wingstop fries, tasted just like that makes you want to dance but yeah really good thin fries all right so here is the bacon look how thick it is and glistening it had a super nice glaze to it but yeah think of this as like bacon jerky in a way it was very thick but very very delicious super fattening but the taste was very sweet and smoky which was wonderful All right, the fried deviled eggs. It looked like a little boat to me, which is fun. But yeah, it didn't taste anything like your normal deviled eggs. Um, it honestly just tastes like a hard boiled egg with a creamy yolk. But yeah, Trevor loved it. He thought it was good. <laughs> and he is a deviled egg connoisseur. So, so my rating for it is a seven out of 10. Pretty good. Going back to the bacon. Look at this thick piece of meat. This stuff will give you a heart attack, but it's so good. Remember, there's a lot of fat on it, so I don't really condone eating this all the time, but I give this a 10 out of 10 experience. That was some good freaking bacon. These onion rings were fantastic. Super crispy, super fresh. Stayed surprisingly hot and crispy throughout our entire time there. Nice and juicy, gotta love it. So yeah, the pimento mac and cheese. A bit of a disappointment. It actually just tasted bland, no taste. I like pimento, but this one just wasn't very good. So the Dr. Pepper barbecue hot wings. This was their hottest flavor on the menu. It tasted good. It wasn't really that hot, but the chicken wing was still thick and tasted really good. So I give these a seven out of 10 as well. All right guys, so here's the main event. The donut brunch burger. Look at that drippage. You can see the two big patties in there. Just how stacked this is. You gotta like unhinge your jaw just to try to take a bite. But I squished it down as much as I could. But yeah, the flavor combinations were wild. I've never had donuts with burger patties, but this was pretty dang good. Uh, definitely a heart attack. But yeah, just look at the layers. <laughs> you see how big I gotta open my mouth. I have nothing but pretty nice things to say about this. All the flavors just melded well. But yeah, just look how big that is. I had to cut it up and ended up eating it with a fork and knife. I only ate half of the burger in the end, but yeah, I would get this again. I loved how it started off sweet because of the donuts and then that salty classic cheeseburger taste uh, with the smoky bacon on top. 
But yeah, this is a messy burger. My fingers were covered in sugar and hash browns and, and, and grease and oils. It was pretty gross, but, but the burger was amazing. But yeah, like I said, I only ate half of the burger. I had to take the other half to go, which I ended up eating for breakfast later. But just look, it's so big. And again, the pimento mac and cheese. It was eh. Honestly, I'd give this a 3 out of 10. It just tasted bland. You know, if it, if it had a different cheese, maybe it would have been better. The wings were large. Again, the portions here were huge. Onion rings. As you can see, they still stayed crispy towards the end. Fantastic. Jack was only able to eat half of his as well. Again, these food portions are huge. And Trevor also only ate a bit of his. Again, it was nothing special. But yeah, guys, this was Lucy Cooper's, and I had this massive, unique style of a burger. I wouldn't recommend this if you have any health risks, but it's for sure something you should try once in your life if you are able to. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next Cozy Experience. Peace!